Welcome back, everybody, once again to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage, and I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> well, you might remember on this go kart we were lengthening the thing, and I had to come up with about ten and a half inches of extra pipe length. So I had a few different sizes of pipes here, and I wanted to slide one inside the other and then get the extension part made. And this seems like it's going to be rather promising and should work. It was a little tricky to get all the parts put together. It probably would have been a whole lot easier if I had an extra set of hands, but I did get it accomplished, and everything assembled just fine. Then I went ahead and eyeballed everything one more time to make sure it looked straight, and then grabbed a set of ratchet straps to try to tie the thing all together. This seems like a really good idea as it pulled all of the pipes nice and tight. All right, here we are. We've got pieces put in here. We've got a piece of angle iron just like that across the bottom, which is holding everything straight, as you can see right there. It's looking pretty good. I can weld this piece in here. This piece, however, needs a little bit of an adjustment. That's because this and this are both bent down right now, and they both need to be bent up, which is gonna bring them closer together, and this shouldn't be as much of a problem. When I pre-fit everything, actually everything fit pretty good, but I haven't pulled this tight yet either. And once I pull that tight, I think uh, everything will snug up a little bit, including these little gaps that are here will close up also. So a lot of that should disappear when I start bending some of this frame just a bit. Same thing goes on the other side. Need to put another clamp here in the middle. That way I can hold this piece in. But again, once I tighten this up, everything should pull together a little bit. And likewise, same thing's going on right here because these two pieces here and here need to both be bent up, which is gonna bring them closer together. So everything's coming together on this. Um, I guess I need to bust out the welder next and start uh, welding the lower tube in here. We'll tighten up the strap just a little bit so that way it, uh, it can pull it together. And then I'll just loosen up one of the clamps just a bit and it should click into place. Once that happens, then, well, we'll just start welding away. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied with what's going on here. Really good. Once this is uh, welded together, we'll bring the floor up into position. We'll weld it into place. And then back here, I have to decide if I want to continue with another piece of floor or if I just want to build a little frame to drop the seat on. Um, if I can find another piece of diamond plate like this, I think that'll be good. And I'll just run a little rib right across the seam so that way you don't even have to see it. But uh, yeah, I got a couple things to kick around here. But nonetheless, we are getting somewhere. I am overjoyed. Everything's working out on this pretty well. And uh, it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, let's get to welding some of this stuff. Somebody's here. Look who it is. It's me. Look who it is. 
It's the great Beezus herself. The goddess is here. Oh, she's come. She's come. Oh, she's coming? <laughs> I want to see that on video. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys don't know, she's actually stopping in to shoot another video with me today about this beautiful yellow Carmen Ghia over here. She's brought over a whole bunch of parts to start piecing this thing back together. And uh, hopefully very, very soon we'll have the thing on its wheels and rolling. And maybe even with an engine in there. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. They're not sold out again. Well, we'll find you one no matter what. Even if we have to go to Harbor Freight and get you a Briggs & Stratton or something. Or Predator they have over there. It's not a Briggs, but it's like a Briggs. <laughs> Put that in there with an adapter. Oh God. It'll get it going. It'll probably do about 25. And then we get one of the big ones, then it might do 50-ish. There's a guy on YouTube, by the way, that actually put a um, several different size Harbor Freight engines, and then he modified them into his Honda Insight. Oh my God. One of those uh, hybrid cars. I need to see this. <laughs> I'm not <gonna> find it. <laughs> I forget the name of the channel. Somebody down below in the comments will post it down there. Otherwise, I'll flash it up on the screen when I remember. But yeah, I'll show it to you later. But I, it just happened to pop up on my feed one day, and I'm watching it. I was like, it's got some good stuff. He's very entertaining, too. So anyway, you'll have to watch for this video next week. We'll be working on the Carmen Ghia. There she goes. There she goes. Copyright and music. YouTube. You'll right. demonetized. It was a parody. Yes. Well, it looks like we're okay. There's barely any play in it at all. That's good. I did notice, however, that this pink tube is actually just slightly smaller than the original. So it's a good thing I double layered it. But uh, we'll get this welded on here. Well, you know what? Now it tightened up. I guess because the cuts aren't absolutely straight, but I didn't have to do any bending to the post on the side over here. And that goes for the same on the opposite side. Everything looks like it's just going to work out fine, so let's go ahead and get some welding done on here. And let's make them a whole lot neater than the welds that were underneath, because I had the settings all wrong, and the wire wasn't feeding, feeding right, and it just made a goddamn mess out of the top of this thing. So, the underside isn't nearly as bad when I flipped it over, but we're going to try to get it right this time around. Alright. Looking at the side here, it does look like that has to come up just a little bit. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the bar underneath it. And I will lift it as I weld it. Otherwise, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time bending it. Because I think it'll be fine otherwise. The other side, I can tell, is a little bit higher than that one. See, if you look at it, you can see. See what I mean? The other side comes up just a little bit. So, we'll play with that. The other side is fine. I'm not going to change a thing about it. I'm going to weld it in as is. It's a go-kart after all, right guys? What I neglected to measure out earlier on video before I did the welding was how I squared up the frame. I chose a suspension component. I actually used the spindle bolt right over here and I ran the tape measure all the way back here to the swing arm mount and I got 58 and a half inches and that's the same on both sides. That means this frame is square. So we're good. I'm very happy. No sooner I got the welder dialed in right, it didn't matter anyway, B showed up and then we recorded the video together and now the sun is going down. I don't think I have a whole lot more time to do much else on this thing, but uh, I think we're going to leave it as is and we'll try to get a couple more spots on it welded. I'd at least like to have the floor pan reinstalled on here and there is a bit of a gap. 
because of the way I had to cut that weld out of it over here. Just, uh, yeah, so I might have to throw a little patch in here, just a little tiny strip. Or maybe come in there with the uh, copper spoon and just try to fill it with some weld. But I'll figure it out. I'll tweak it and get it right. Either way, all these welds need to be ground down anyway. I really don't like having welds be seen at all. I just want it to look nice and smooth. So we'll hide as much as we can and make it pretty. Because that's what counts here, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> we also need to come up with some kind of a brace, kind of like what's here. I want to run it across this line. And then if I drop in another piece of uh, floor pan or something, it can rest on that. But uh, future plans, that's stuff I got going on here. Meanwhile, let's throw this thing back down to four wheels because that's just the way that I want it to sit tonight. So, uh, all right, here we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Licky, likey, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to plug that dingle bell so you get updates every time I upload a video. Check out duckshit.net for all of my different social media links and my other YouTube channels. You will find them all right there. Subscribe. And uh, I guess that's about it for today. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.